In this video, I'm going to walk you through Koji, probably the biggest threat to Linktree since... Yeah, since sure I'll come up with something later. Anyway, I'm going to walk you through why you need it, what it can do for you as a creator, and how to use it to help you decide if it is the right platform for you to grow your creator business on. And I really think you're going to like the look of this one. So let's check it out. All right, guys, this is Koji, and this is Linktree's biggest problem, I reckon. So what is it? Putting it simply, Koji is your own little web page where you can put links to other web pages. And the whole idea behind this is on places like Instagram, where they only give you one link you can share in your bio you would put the link to your Koji there. When they click it, it then takes them to more links. And it is the biggest threat to another platform called Linktree going. So you can add all the traditional links and customize it and make it look cool. And yeah, that's not that innovative. But what you can do with this is you can bolt on little apps that just give you so many more options within your Koji. So you can add on a tip jar. You can collect email for your email list just via this without needing any other websites. Add video, add something called a super like, which is an opportunity for your followers to give you a giant like. Who wouldn't want that? You can add music, and this is really cool. This is Billboard. So your super fans can actually pay to appear on your Koji page. So they can rent a little space just where they leave a little message or put a photo of themselves and give you even more support. And what's even better is every time this space is purchased, the price of it then goes up. <laughs> so it's almost got its own little economy. Now I love this because it's what's known as making your customer the hero, which is a marketing technique that Coke used. Remember when they put their names of people on their Coke cans and Kit Kat did it when they printed people's pictures and put them on Kit Kats. This is very similar. It's all about making your super fans feel special. Now there are hundreds of little apps that you can add to your links. Polls, giveaways, articles. You can sell downloadable files straight from there. PDFs, checklists, 3D files, LUTs, digital artwork. This is what a lot of creators really need because it looks super simple to set up and we'll get into that in a minute, see if it actually is. But it's also giving you so many options to monetize your content just for a really simple link. So who's this for? Well, anyone with a following who wants to make money from their following and who doesn't have the time to build websites and systems and processes yet to monetize their content. Let's have a look at how some other creators are using these. So this is a creators. They've got a few sponsored links at the top. I'm loving the gifts and the animation going on here. You can click their super like button and you can send them one of these specific gifts. You click it and you tip them at the same time. Awesome. I'm going to tip this person $125. I'm that impressed. <laughs> Not. There's also normal links to Twitter and you can get featured on their fan board too. So this is the billboard we were talking about, which is currently going for $7.50. Let's have a look at the next one. This is really good looking, really well customized. I'm loving this. You can tip them, you can get notes. I'm not sure what that is, let's find out. And this is about subscribing to their email list and that just couldn't be easier. And there's links to podcasts. So let's create a profile here. I've got to verify my phone number first. Eyes shut. Let's choose a username. That's it. Sign up process took no time at all. Click finish. Quite excited to get in here and see what it's all about. Ooh. So let's start adding some links. And then you can easily add in your email, your phone, all your other links there, at Doddle. And then these are like the highlighted links. So let's have a look. I'm going to put a tip jar up. Why would you not just give me money for free? I don't know. Let's see if I can get some free money. I think everyone as a creator should have a place for people to tip them. And it might feel a bit uncomfortable to start off with. But actually, your biggest fans do want to support you. You can even put a little cover photo or a video in here too. I'm just going to test around with a thumbnail. I mean, that's not really the most appropriate <laughs> image, but it's fun. So template cost is free. Transaction fee. So keep 100% of the purchase. Awesome. Developer tip. No tip. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming you can tip the developers for this feature. I'm not going to because I'm greedy. And there's my first link. It's going to use a picture of my face again. Ideally, you would use an icon or an image here to make it obvious that it is tipping, not just your face every time. Let's change my spelling mistake. There's more things we can add too. Let's see what else we've got. Build your email list. That's a no brainer if you guys do an email and you should be. Put a new personal status up there. So I guess this is almost going to be like a story that you can add that is unique to people who have gone to this page. Yes, it is. Play around with the style now. Theme. Ooh, these are nice. Oh, I'm loving this. Bit of action there. Oh, ocean. Some lovely bright themes here too. This is really easy to use. I'm going to go with the futuristic one. Oh, you can add a background video in there too. Amazing. I'm just going to leave that as it is. Select the button style. I'm going to put my color as 
my electric pink, select your font, save, and there we are. There's only one thing you can do right now, and like you can see why you wouldn't want to just use one image. But tip this person, I'm gonna tip them $9,000, and then just say you rock. Oh. 999 is all I can do. Well, that's a shame. Let's do that. So the basics, pretty flipping good. So now we have it, and all we do is copy and paste this link here wherever we want, into Instagram, into YouTube, you can share it anywhere. And you also have data up here too, so you can see how many people have visited the profile, hopefully how many people have clicked too. So it will show data here. There's more too, this keeps getting better. There's plugins that you can add, so you can add a tracking pixel. This is great, so this gives you the ability to market to people who have been on this page. So if someone goes to your link, your Koji page and then disappears, you can actually show them an ad via Facebook's network, see how someone else has done their profile. Way better than mine. This person even has an OnlyFans. You can request a personal video, so it's like Cameo, this app as well, and which is just another genius thing. So although I didn't really build the best Koji, I'm incredibly impressed with this. I think this is something Linktree really need to worry about. I need to get on board with adding all these features because it's a way more engaging experience and there's so many options and it's really easy to use as well. The only question I have is, how much does it cost? Because I can't seem to find any pricing anywhere. There was an option to tip. How are these guys making money? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Apparently it's free. I can't literally can't find any pricing information on this at all. So it's a no-brainer. Go and get it.